All right, hello. Welcome to the first episode of Chop It Up. My name is Kenny Ruiz. I'm the owner of Mag Chop. So as my first video, I guess the first thing I should do is introduce you to Mag Chop so you know exactly what Mag Chop is. Mag Chop is a fine art company out of Pompano Beach, Florida. I'm the owner and artist. I have a partner owner, I have a partner owner and an operations manager, and then we have a really uh, interesting team of people that we work with to get, get everything done what we do. And what is it that we do? First thing is fine art. I'm a collage artist, I'm a fine art collage artist, so that is the primary thing, that's what it started with, was with my art, my collage art, um, like the piece you see behind me, called First Impression. Um, from there we introduced the 15 ounce mug collection, which is one of these bad boys right here. So they are 15 ounce beer mugs, they are microwave and dishwasher safe, so you don't have to worry about that, and, and they're beautiful, they're beautiful mugs. So. At the end, what's interesting about the 15 ounce collection is at the end of every year, one mug comes off the collection and a new one is added. So for a little bit of exclusivity, a little bit of a collector's item. The other thing we do is we created the first memorabilia for five time, with four time, on pace to win fifth, champion from the TA series, Ernie Francis Jr. He is also the youngest person to win the Trans Am series since its inception in 1966 first racer to get pole position every race um, he's four peated he's on pace for five first Haitian American to sign with NASCAR and yours truly did the first official piece of art memorabilia for him which is really really uh, cool and exciting so what else have we done we've done book covers uh, Lillian Taylor's Crimea River of Blood it's Crimea River of Blood um, we did a book cover of that. I worked with Pedro Campa. I have several artists that I work with on things. Like with one of the Ernie Francis Jr. pieces, we have Why Not Designs out of uh, Miami, Florida. And then with the book covers, I worked um, with uh, Pedro Campa out of Pompano Beach, Florida. And so we did the book cover for Crimey River Blood, Lillian Taylor. And then we did a book cover for CQCQ, My Last Transmission, which is a, the story of the woman who change the way they hire, fire, demote, and promote women in the FAA. So it's a very interesting um, concept, very interesting story that we got there. We also have done movie posters. We've done movie posters for Loyalty and Betrayal, Loyalty or Betrayal by John Vargas, Cinefreak Productions. We did his uh, Gabby's Revenge poster. We did the poster for Women Dating Over 50, which is an Eve Gray, Eve Gray production out of uh, Colorado. And what was the other one that we did? I don't even know. We've done like two more. <laughs> I can't think of them right now. How horrible is that? Anyway, so we do movie posters. We also have provided move, um, artwork for set design. You can see our artwork in a Jerome Anthony Larkin film called The Blonde Hair Murders, which will be coming out soon. You can see our artwork in Gabby's Revenge. You can also see our movie in a Bernard Salzman film called Marriage Killer, which is part of the Killer series from the Lifetime Original Movies with... Um, Kristen Renton and Jason London and, and that crew, Barbie Castro and that crew. So we have a lot of really cool stuff that we've got involved in. And of course, the next thing we did had to do it, bathing suits. So we introduced a Mag Chop swim line last year at Miami uh, at, uh, Palm Beach Swim Week. And this year in Miami, July 14th, Miami Swim Week, we will be, this is 2018, so July 14th, 2018, we will be introducing the Mag, a new version of the Mag Chop swim line and our activewear line which is just everything's being totally redone and it's just completely beautiful so those of you who have ordered already your stuff has already either been delivered or it's on its way and um you guys got a really special blend because these the ones that you guys first ordered they're not going to be made the same so they're going to be a little bit of a difference so you got kind of a unique product there so that's basically who mag chop is we've been around for four years we have several celebrities that own our products, Chris Brown owns a canvas, gallery wrapped canvas of Heir to the Throne, which is a piece themed to him. Uh, Luis Guzman from, he played Pachanga in Carlitos Way. Uh, Johnny O and Cynthia, which are huge, huge heartthrobber, freestyle, uh, freestyle singers from, you know, back in the day that are just amazing people. So, we, and Leonard Marshall, I just got Leonard Marshall picked up one of the 15 ounce mugs yesterday as a matter of fact so he's a new york giants legendary hall of famer linebacker so we have some really cool some really cool people on our products we've gotten into some really cool stuff i'm actually in a commercial with paris hilton and flowrider 
for Didi, which is China Zuber. So in the four years, MagChop has done a lot. We've been a part of a lot of galleries. We were featured in the Miami Supercar Rooms for two events. We were also featured in, last year for Planet Fashion TV at the Spectrum in Miami for our Basel. And our actual, we're actually, Swim Week this year, we are working with Planet Fashion TV on Swim Week. And um, MagChop's first exhibition was at the Chimes Hotel on the rooftop gala for Planet Fashion TV. So shout out to Planet Fashion TV because they've just been in MagChop's life, you know, for the last four years in such a big way. Celia is an amazing, amazing woman. And her husband, Steve, is just a great guy. I love hanging out with him at the shows. So that's basically what MagChop is. That's who I am. That's what I've been doing. So if there's anything you want to know or anything you're curious about, uh, send me an email, kenny at magchop.com. And say, hey, listen, you know, your next, your next video, I'd like to know this or I want to talk about this. So uh, I'd love to hear from you. And that's it for Chop It Up for the Day. This is my first official podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.